Hello Twin Flames. So this is going to be your reading um, for this week. This is the union spread. So this is for twins that are not in union. This is for twins not in union. So this is um, for anybody who tuned into my channel really. Um, Take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. To all my new subscribers, I put three videos up a week. The Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, and the Union Spread, which is what I'm doing right now. So this is for Divine Partnership Soulmates. If you are um, in one and currently having some problems not together right now, this is the reading for you. And I do give personal readings, so you can email me in the description below. So this is for Divine Partnership Twin Flame. Um, relations a very strong connection if you have a very strong connection to someone and you are tuning into this channel then this reading is for you let's see what's going on with the masculine and the feminine So the first card is um, a main energy. This is for the Divine Masculine. And we have the Ten of Coins, um, the Ten of Pentacles, or the Ten of Shields. This is about um, his main energy, and this is feeling grounded. This is feeling secure. This is um, feeling secure with his money financially, feeling security within the 3D because coins are earth, okay? And, um, you know, here he's sitting on his, he's looking at the couple. So it's like, you know, um, this old couple has got some wise attention um, from, um, someone with a lot of knowledge and they feel grounded within themselves and within the relationship so it's almost like um, a feeling of security okay um, for some this would be with the divine feminine and um, the divine masculine is just feeling this security this um, this groundedness within the union, okay, within wanting to come closer to his Divine Feminine. And the Divine Feminine is, has the um, Page of Pentacles, and this is about 3D, this is about making plans within the 3D realm, okay. This is about being wise and Seeing everything that Divine Feminine has and actually planning on what to do next within the union, okay? So, um, she could be, you know, um, for instance, she could be going out shopping and, you know, buying things to uh, make her feel grounded within this union. Um, she could be, um, you know, planning a get together okay with the divine masculine so this is what the divine masculine desires wow so we have the nine of swords now in this picture this man is sitting on his bed and um he's like grin grinding his teeth almost like this anxiety this um notion of 
swords here are just kind of in his mind, piercing his mind. He can't sleep. He can't think about nothing else. He desires this want, okay? He desires to think about Divine Feminine. He desires um, this anxiety. He wants this. I don't know why. I'm going to pull a clarifier for it because nobody wants anxiety, okay? So let me just get my um, Rider Waite deck here and I'm going to shuffle and we're going to pull one for the Nine of Swords for the Divine Masculine. Why does he desire the Nine of Swords? Why is he designing the Nine of Swords? So we have the Eight or the Seven of Wands. Okay, so I feel that, you know, um, Divine Masculine is standing up for himself. He stood up for himself with the Divine Feminine. And, um, you know, um, maybe there are some things that he is not feeling um stable he's not feeling secured although he's he's wanting more okay divine masculine is wanting more i feel that some are wanting more they are um you know having this anxiety of wanting more now this could be coming back into union for some okay he um i feel that divine masculine um, is wanting more within his happiness okay because his main energy is happiness but he he wants something and this could be definitely be the divine feminine okay coming in um he wants you know the four of wands he wants the four of wands this is what he's desiring but he's also wanting to stand his ground okay now with this in reverse this is like um you know not being thankful for the things that he has okay and this is a reminder that divine masculine you should be thankful for the things that you have right now and work upon that rather than jumping in front of yourself okay so you know i do see you standing up for yourself and um you know this could be the divine feminine that you're holding your ground for um this could be other people coming at you um and you know um you're standing up for what you believe in. You're holding your ground. But I do have a strong feeling that. Um, of wanting Divine Feminine. Um, back into your. Uh, back into your life. Okay. So this is what you desire Divine Feminine. Okay. So you desire. you. This is what you want. You want the Ten of, um, the ten of Cups. You desire it, you want it, you're manifesting it. This is, you know, divine partnership. This is two people coming together and feeling secured emotionally, okay? So we have the 10 here with the divine masculine. And we also have a 10 here with the uh, divine feminine. So again, this is feeling emotionally fulfilled within the relationship. Um, this is also about, um, you know, um, seeing through any delusions and seeing that uh, seeing your divine masculine for who he is okay so and for some i feel that you know divine masculine is standing up to their divine feminine over some things maybe um there was um an argument within the two and he's not wanting to give up his word his fight okay with the four of wands and the seven of wands it's like taking action into um you know this argument but he's wanting this and he if he, if he would just let that go then he wouldn't have this anxiety and the stress that he's carrying but um let's move on So what forces are helping the um, Divine Masculine get back into union with the Divine Feminine? So here we have the King of Cups. This is about um, a sensitive, emotional King. Cups are all about water, all about emotions. Um, this King is letting us know that um, he is a playful King. He's not about being serious all the time and he is loyal. Okay. That's what the dolphin is here for. And this is about, you know, this is what's helping the divine feminine. Okay. 
this is, I mean, the Divine Masculine. It's helping the Divine Masculine get through his, um, his Nine of Swords. This is the anxiety that he's having with the Divine Feminine. But it's what he's, he wants. But this is, he is a sensitive, um, Divine Masculine. And, uh, but he's also very playful. He's very um, fun. He's very loving. He's very caring. And things affect Divine Masculine very easily. And that's why, you know, we have these, um, this Nine of Swords here to let us know that Divine Masculine is thinking about you. He is um, upset. You know, he is having this anxiety and these withdrawals with, um, without without being in union he can feel that and sense it so this is what help is helping divine feminine <clears throat> so we have the king of swords here and this king is very um stern he is um he's very stern he's very um he's one worded he's one sided um he's it's all about what he says and how things go his way. He makes the decisions. Okay, so either, you know, Divine Feminine is being really stern with Divine Masculine here. So what I want to do is just pull a clarifier for the Page of Swords. I mean the King of Swords. What's the King of Swords here for for Divine Feminine? On um, what's helping her get back into union with Divine Masculine. So she's trying to pick something up off the ground. She's trying to start something new. I feel that Divine Feminine is, most Divine Feminines are sticking up um, to Divine Masculine and and standing up for what they believe in, okay? It's kind of like they're mirroring each other here. And, you know, he's standing up for what he believes in, but he's also having some anxiety doing it. And Divine Feminine is... She's helping, this is what's helping her to stick up to what she believes in, not to give in to the Divine Masculine, okay? But to know that she has a life too and that she is um, willing to stand up for what she believes in as well. So there has to be a meet in the middle from both sides, okay? To make this work. Um, so let's move on here. Let's move on to... You know, and this is working behind the scenes, you know. So we have two kings here. We have the king of cups and the king of swords. So this one is more playfulness and this one's real stern, okay. Okay, so this is... Um, this is what Divine Masculine wants Divine Feminine to know. Is I feel that Divine Masculine is coming to Divine Feminine. He likes the chase, okay? This is the Knight of Cups. He wants to find Divine Feminine. And, you know, I just feel that, you know, this is Divine Masculine here on the horse. And I feel that he's coming to Divine Feminine. He he will make his way to the Divine Feminine that he desires. Um, that he feels this urge, this strong pull with. Divine Masculine is... I feel that he's coming to Divine Feminine um, within the moment, actually. So what I'm going to do is pull a card for my clarifiers for the Knight of Cups. So this is um, what Divine Masculine wants Divine Feminine to know is that he's coming to her um, with the Knight of Cups. Can I get a clarifier for that please? Okay, so um, this is a 10 
Ten of Wands. So this is an ending to feeling that he doesn't know where to go, okay? So Divine Masculine might um, be coming to Divine Feminine, but he's taking um, he's taking a, a good while. He has a setback, okay? But this is an ending to it. This is what he wants you to know, that he's coming. He has to put down all the wands. He's taking action into his journey, and he is coming to Divine uh, Feminine divine feminine he's coming to you he has to put down these ten wands so that he can see where he's going and you can see that his horse is moving into a direction okay and um you know i feel that he is he's moving towards you um divine feminine so this is what you want divine masculine to know So I feel like um, this is the hair fin. So this is about um, you know you're weighing out your options, the the ways to. Um, it's like you're weighing out the material world as well as um, the spirit world. Okay, and, you know, is it worth this journey, you're asking yourself. And you want Divine Masculine to know that you are thinking about, you know, the Twin Flame journey or, you know, this journey that you're on. And you are also thinking of the materialistic way. And you're thinking of this place, you know, you're thinking, is this worth it? Are these feelings worth it? You know, um because there is some strong feelings within this relationship and within this journey and yes there is another path you could take there is another way that you could go you know and this is you know the hair fin. this is you know you're feeling all this divine feminine and you just want divine masculine to know that you are thinking about you know not being in this relationship but also about um you know it's kind of like you're weighing out your um, your options. What do you mean by the hierophant and um, for the divine feminine? What she wants to ask them to know. So you have the nine of swords as, as well. <coughs> so divine masculine is wanting his divine feminine here. And I feel that he is moving closer. This is all one. So this is all taking action. And then we have the Nine of Swords. So we have the Nine of Swords as well here with um, wanting Divine Masculine to know. So, you know, this is about, you know, freedom of thought, okay? But her freedom of thought, Divine Masculine, she, okay, now Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine wants you to know that she does care about you. She thinks about you. She knows the tradition. She knows the way, but she wants her Divine Masculine. I feel that it is giving her anxiety as well as yourself, okay? You know, this is what you desire. This is what you want, Divine Masculine. This is what the Divine Feminine is wanting you to know. She has the anxiety as well. She is thinking about, you know, um, everything. She has freedom to think, okay? Um, but she, she does want you to know that she is thinking about you and that... She wants to be stern within her thoughts. She doesn't want Divine Masculine to run over her, okay? And I do feel that um, Divine Feminine is, is wanting to start something new here with the Fool and the um, 
the king of swords you know she wants to stand firm within her thought she wants to stand firm within her word with the divine masculine and uh, she doesn't want to be taken lightly you know um, she feels very deeply for divine masculine and it's 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 you know these swords are keeping her up at night these things that are on her mind um, with divine masculine about this union you know and he has the same suit over here the same uh, nine of swords so he is thinking heavy as well um, you know that he doesn't have the 411 you know the the um this union card here this um four of wands he wants divine my feminine and you know it's like he's not feeling grounded with divine feminine but he is his energy is feeling grounded because we have the ten of pentacles but it without his divine feminine he wants his divine feminine with him okay so that is why that is showing and there is a sense that divine uh, masculine is coming to divine feminine okay moving towards divine feminine I feel that he's going to put down this heavy burden and move cl even closer to Divine Feminine. These are all wands, like I said. Um, you know, he doesn't want to be so playful. With, um, I mean, he wants to be playful. He wants to be loyal. He wants to have fun on this journey, okay? Um... So this is how he views the relationship. So Divine Masculine feels like he's bringing this heavy burden to the relationship. I feel that, um, you know, this is what he's bringing. He's bringing this, this heavy load. This is what, um, you know, there's a lot of things weighing on his shoulders. I'm going to pull a clarifier for that. Now, like I said, this is not for everyone. So, this is just a general reading. But what do you mean by the Ten of Wands as what Divine Masculine brings to the relationship here? What is this Ten, ten of Wands? Can you be more specific? Okay, so this is about, you know... Um, manifesting new ideas this is about manifesting new ideas bringing forth um, a light um, bringing new ideas into this union I feel that divine masculine is having a hard time um, you know and some struggles with that because here we have two tens and then we have we also have a ten here and a ten here so we have four tens. So this is about, you know, um, this is also about change as well. This is about putting down the burden and, you know, stepping out into the light. Divine Masculine is going, is having some issues right now with, you know, being serious within the relationship. Um, but it is tackling him. I can tell what, by these cards here, um, with the magician in reverse. Divine Masculine is, um, you know, wanting to put forth work and effort, and I feel that he is, but, um, there's a sense that he has a lot on his shoulders, and he can't, um, he's not wanting to be so serious you know he doesn't want his life to be squeezed out of him um, over security problems as well so this is about you know letting go some of the old um, habits and ways so
you know, divine masculine, he, there's a sense that he needs to be more serious um, with divine feminine. It's like he's, he's having doubts, you know, as I feel that you guys are marrying each other so much because, you know, you're, you're thinking as well, you know, you're thinking as well that divine feminine, you're, you're wondering, you know, you have freedom of think, freedom of thought and all this is running through your head. Like, you know, I don't have to go on this journey. I can do something else. But this journey is so fulfilling emotionally. And, you know, this you have the Ten of Cups here. And you, and you desire this with your Divine Masculine. You see it for what it really is, Divine Feminine. You see the Ace of Cups through the night, through the fog. You know it's there. So, I do feel like you're sticking firmly to your thought, to your word, to, you know, yourself. And you're planning, Divine Feminine, you're planning for this union. Um, and while you're planning for it, Divine Masculine is, is actually coming to you, okay? Something is coming to you, Divine Feminine, from Divine Masculine. Um, I feel that... He, um, his emotions are weighing heavy on him and he's trying to manifest this into 3D and, um, he might need your help. Okay. So let's go on. This is how, um, how you view the relationship, divine feminine. So, you're waiting as well, Divine Feminine. You're waiting for Divine Masculine to come through. But you're not just waiting, you know. You have planted some crops. You have planted your ideas. You have taken this pinnacle right here. And you have planted it. And now it has taken blossom. And it is blooming. And you're waiting for it to take effect on the union, on the relationship, on your Divine Masculine in the 3D, you're right. You're see. You're wanting to see how this is going to work out, how it's going to pan out. You're waiting for it to be. Um, you're waiting for the zero to turn into the one. Okay, so this idea is fixing to be. This is the magician. This is one. The idea is fixing to be brought up. Okay, the idea is fixing to be brought up. The and no, the idea has already been brought up. It's taking action, okay? Some things that are start, you're going to be able to see is going to start to take action. This is how you view the relationship. You know, I feel like Divine Masculine has already taken action into this union because he has the Ten of, of Wands here, you know? So, so this is a, what the twin is doing to get into union. So again, you know, we're marrying each other here. The high priest and the high priestess. This is the high priest. This is the high priestess. Okay, so... What is he's, he's doing? What is Divine Masculine doing? He's using his intuitive self. He's getting very spiritual within himself. He is... Um, there is a sense that Divine Masculine is um, growing into a more spiritual awakening. Okay? He knows that... See these flames right here? He knows, he knows that he has a divine feminine twin flame, okay? He feels this connection. He feels this, he, he feels the burn within, okay? And it's leading him to you, divine feminine. So this is what he's doing, you know. 
divine masculine he knows the secrets he knows the way he feels so deeply about this connection and uh, and you know it's like it, it's almost like divine masculine needs to tap into it and i feel that he has the power as the magician you know this is two so he has everything to make this work divine masculine does and like i said divine masculine is starting to take action we have nothing but wands here showing and a sword um we have two cups and pinnacle but also the high the um high priestess and that's a very intuitive very spiritual so so what is this twin what is divine feminine doing about getting into union with divine masculine okay <clears throat> i feel like divine feminine is looking at divine masculine and seeing his work and divine feminine is you know bringing all these flowers to the divine masculine you know she even brought this fruit she's bringing him um bringing him things within the 3d in reality and boosting up his his um his stance okay boosting up divine masculine and letting Divine Masculine know that she is there for him. That, um, you know, she, she will be there for him. So, this is what she's doing about it. She's, you know, helping out the union as well as helping out the Divine Masculine to get into union with Divine Feminine. Okay, so, um... So this is the outcome card for the twins. So here we have the star card. And this is about energy. This is about um, new energy coming into the union. Okay. Um, see this rose here is for love and for romance. And it's like there's healing. See she's pouring the two cups into this stream here into this little pond and it's it's healing energies in the relationship in the union and she's sending them out you know i mean it's like the star card is about healing after um, a long strenuous period and i feel that some of these um twin flames and whoever's watching is going through a time in their life where um things are changing over for the better for them and in their relationship and so this has to take process so that it can be rebuilt um these energies have to be you know um passed through let these energies pass through and um, come in and take its course so that things can turn into your favor okay so what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm going to pull a cord here for the union, for the twin flame union. So this is number 15. Let me get my book here. So this card portrays a farewell which might be a final parting or a temporary goodbye. A tragic loss or simply a turn page could be leading, leading to a new future. You know, we talked about new energy coming back into a relationship. So I feel very strongly that, you know, this is, she's, she might be sending a letter um, to you divine masculine um or divine masculine he could be bringing you a message okay so this this woman expression gives us no clue as to the content of her envelope a farewell message yes but one revealed or to be given the rose suggested a possible lover's separation but it is it a final goodbye or a temporary one 
until next time. Either way, as any airport senses will demonstrate, departure lounges tend to be sad than arrivals. The birds flying in the background suggest that a return is in the future. So it's, she's not sad in this picture. She could be returning. This I feel that if this was leaving, I feel like the birds in the back would be going the opposite direction and she would be going that way. So this is like coming to coming into union. And if you add the five and the one together, that's a six in the tarot card, the lovers, the major arcana, they're six. Okay, so our lives are a constant flow of farewells to people, places, and things, some with regret, but some with enthusiasm as they are replaced with new options. Forever and forever farewell. If we do meet again, why? We shall smile. If not, then this parting was well made. So, for some, this is, you know, um, I feel like this is coming to, like some has been apart for some time now, and I feel that she's actually received this letter from the Divine Masculine, you know, she is not bringing the rose to the Divine Masculine, she received the rose and the letter. So, um, let's pull some Lenormand cards for the union. What's the message for the union? For this week. Wow, okay, so we have <clears throat> some setbacks, you know, and it, you know, we do have some setbacks because, you know, this is a mountain. This is an obstacle, okay? There are some things that are being put in front of the Divine Masculine that is blocking his vision, blocking his views with the Ten of Wands. Something that is is actually showing him loyalty um this could be you know the union coming together there's some blocks okay there's some obstacles that are going to have to be um made that are going to have to be dealt with but i feel that everything that we do is going to be loyal okay we're going to do everything so right we're going to learn and progress ourselves and we progress ourselves we send that to our partner so that allows movement to come in so we might have blocks right now but at the end of the week we are moving closer to union okay so yeah we have the um one here the nine of wands this is about moving forward this is about going forward within the union going through the storm you know we're healing we are walking through it we are learning and moving close closer into union okay so is there any more messages coming through for the union So we have deep knowing, so deep down inside, you know who this person is, you have this deep feeling, this urge, this pull, you're very wise to this, you you have the faith, um, the knowledge, you know that you can't change, um, you can only change yourself, okay, so this is a reminder that you know deep down who your partner is. And that, you know, you can't change anybody. 
um, you're having to be wise about what you do within this relationship for yourself. Um, and, you know, this is about being firmly grounded and um, working for, you know, you're, you're doing work for yourself. You're doing groundwork for spirit, for for the divine, for source. Um, but when you do the groundwork, when you do the work, you are building yourself up. You know, you're building this light. You're, the light builds and builds and builds just like a fire would if you keep on putting, um, you know, twigs on it and, and branches and, and you just like, you give it fire. It's burning inside. You have this deep knowing. Okay, so now is the time to address the cracks in the foundations of your life. Perhaps your values have changed and it is time to strengthen your convictions and to let go of the things that no longer serve the vision you have for your life. Or perhaps you choose to ignore the signs that a situation or argument you have entered, agreement you have entered into is not just right for you. Remove the, not, the, the rotten pieces and reinforce your core moral strength and integrity. Now is the time for rigorous honesty, for you are called to renovate and upgrade your consciousness. You will be so happy when you do. Spirit has a spectacular blueprint for your life, for beyond your imagination. Don't be afraid to replace what's not solid. Thank you so very much for tuning into my channel. Um, please like it, um, share it, subscribe, and um, you have a wonderful week. Thank you.